Uh, we are here with Scott Winsler, who is the CEO of Sega Sammy Creation, a part of the larger Sega Sammy company. Uh, and first of all, Scott, thanks for taking the time with us today. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Uh, Scott, a lot, a lot of people in the U.S., if we say Sega Sammy, uh, have an image in their of their mind of a company in the Patsis Lot and Pachinko business in Japan. But actually, your company is a lot more diverse than that. And Sega Sammy creation itself uh, has products that are probably more c conventionally casino oriented. Mm -hmm. Can you give us a little uh, overview on Sega Sammy creation uh, in, in terms of what you do? and then what some of your goals are? Sure, well, just uh, taking a step back, uh, Sega is probably the most uh, recognizable name of the group. Uh, we're celebrating our 60th anniversary this year. Um, as you know, they had uh, quite a, a run in the 80s and 90s with uh, home console games, um, pretty extensive arcade, you know, coin-op arcade business. Um, and then in 2004, the, the SAMI, the Pachinko and Pachisoto manufacturer in Japan acquired them. And a few years later, you know, they, they saw that uh, there was another large market out there being the traditional casino gaming market. And so I think it was about seven years ago that they said, let's pursue that. So um, a group was formed, taking some talented people out of the SAMI group, as well as the Sega group to uh, form uh, the nucleus of an R&D team. Uh, first of all, had to create a whole platform that would uh, meet the requirements of this jurisdiction. Um, which are considerably different from the you know, Japan style of, uh, even though they're slot machines, very, very different. And, uh, you know, went through licensure. Um, as you well know, it's a very arduous uh, path to, to get the uh, initial manufacturing license and then follow up that with the actual platform and game licensure. So um, long story short is we got all that wrapped up last year and, and started business. And uh, tell us a little bit about what your product lines are and maybe what some of your uh, goals are long term. Sure. Well, so the uh, initial um, game cabinet that was developed, uh, we called it the, the Genesis Star cabinet. And as I said, it was uh, designed four or five years ago. Um, so when it finally hit the market, it was a little bit dated. You know, the display sizes were a little bit smaller than what was currently available in the market. And, uh, you know, that was a traditional you know, slot machine. Um, we immediately started work on a, a next generation cabinet, which we can talk about in a bit, that's uh, getting ready to launch. Um, in Asia, we also uh, looked at the larger um, electronic table game uh, style product. You may have seen uh, a few years back, we launched a very large like stadium seating Sikpo and Baccarat in Macau. Um, unfortunately, it didn't quite play out as well as we had hoped. It's very large, very expensive, takes up a lot of space on the floor. So we've kind of put that on the back shelf for now. Uh, a lot of that came from the Sega arcade style of game development. If you've ever been to any of those arcades in Japan, they have some pretty impressive uh, hardware. And so they, they wanted to use that uh, background and experience in that uh, stadium style uh, electronic table games. But right now we're really focused on a traditional, uh, you know, video slot machine. Um. Video slot machines in the U.S. and electronic tables elsewhere, or or slot machines generally. Uh, slot machines generally. So even in Macau, um, what we did is we adapted the that multiplayer solution into a standalone baccarat, standalone sickbo, standalone uh, roulette. The baccarat is performing um, extremely well. Um, we have it in Macau and several of the casinos in, in the Philippines and uh, even here in the U.S. And as you can imagine, with the, uh, the recent uh, kind of uh, social distancing requirements, a lot of the casinos uh, can't really host as many players on the live Baccarat tables. And so they've been very interested in taking our product and setting those standalone Baccarat machines just outside of the Baccarat pit area. And uh, we've seen very good performance there. Um, one of the kind of cool features of it is it allows the player to create their own trend line uh, I don't know if you've ever watched a, a Chinese player playing Baccarat in, in Asia. They, they have a paper sheet that they track, you know, banker versus player wins. And uh, when they get that histogram that seems like it's lucky, then they, you know, kind of increase their bet. So we allow the player to actually cycle the RNG without wagering and create that trend line. And then once they feel it's, it's the right time, then they can hit it uh, with a wager. So that's been successful both in Macau and, and here in the U.S. Uh, where we have, uh, you know, Asian players. 
Uh, Creation, as you noted, uh, is a relatively young company and you have a small presence in the United States. If you were to look out three or four years from now, what would your footprint look like? Well, so, uh, you know, this time last year, I think we had five licenses in, you know, the, the Nevada license plus a couple of tribes in Southern California. Um, we continue to place applications every month, and I think we're now up uh, closer to 30 jurisdictional licenses. Um, and we do have a, a roadmap to have the entire U.S. and you know, all legal jurisdictions over the next three years, which is, you know, well over a million dollar activity. Uh what would be the competitive advantage if you're talking to a casino who also has a lot of other suppliers with good games to choose from? What's the niche or the competitive advantage that you have? Well, there's a couple of things. One, um, Sega Sammy as a, as a group has manufactured literally millions of boxes, whether it's a home console box, an arcade box, or a pachinko or pachisuro style box. So the engineering and the quality is, is at you know, the highest levels in the industry. Um, we've had you know, a few hundred machines placed here in the past year or so and have yet to see any um, you know, quality issues or any um, service issues related to our product. So that's something that I think a lot of the customers, when we talk to them, they feel comfortable knowing our history and knowing that, that we have that track record of, of quality products. So that's definitely um, puts their mind at ease. And then um, the other thing that we bring to the table is um, just a vast array of artists and, and animators and game content creators. Uh, we have quite a vast library. Not all of it may be you know, readily recognizable by uh, the US players, but there's a huge amount of content and we are trying to bring some of that in. But even when we start with a theme from scratch, the, the guys are really good at uh, making you know, the, the content and the animations are very appealing. Yeah, one of the things that I've noted over the years is that companies that come from a different perspective, whether it was WMS, which was originally a pinball company, or whether it's Incredible uh, Technologies, which also is a different kind of arcade game, that they do bring a no novel ideas mm -hmm. to the slot machine industry. Yeah, one thing that we also have, um, you know, our primary let's say product line will be a traditional video slot, um, you know, that you're more familiar with. But the, the Sammy guys, uh, we have kind of a one development line that is going to try to bring some of the Pachinko and Pachisuro style gameplay. So I won't go so far to say that it'll be a skill-based game, but it will be a little bit different than what the traditional player and operators may be used to seeing. So we realize that can't be the, the main product, but we do hope to have, you know, one or two banks of, of a traditional slot um, game on the floor and then bring these in as, as a try and see. And, you know, who knows, maybe one of those will uh, take off and, and be the next new trend. Right. Um, in the United States, at least, there's a lot of excitement today about digital gaming, whether that's social gaming or uh, real money gambling or, uh, social casino. Uh, do you have uh, digital uh, products and services or plans? Yeah, so the um, we have a group called Sammy Networks who um, for a few years now has had a, a quite successful social gaming app in Japan. Unfortunately, you can't access it from a, a US uh, IP, but uh, that provides um, basically all the games that they put out in the pachinko halls. You can play on your phone a lot of you know, secrets or like kind of play of game uh, news and, and that type of stuff that they've been doing for years. So um, of course we wanna do that here um, in, the, in the US and in Europe. So we have started um, the, the relationship. Uh, the contracts haven't quite been uh, wrapped up yet so I'm not able to mention who our partners are, but we will have content in Europe, uh, you know, on the iGaming um, hosted sites. And similarly we have, uh, relationships underway with uh, social gaming as well here in the you know, US. Now you've mentioned a couple of your products and this is the time of the year. Uh, normally with G2E uh, have, would normally be recently passed where companies uh, display their, be their best and their newest products. In addition to the uh, products you already mentioned, are there one or two others that you think people absolutely must know yeah, so um, last earlier this month, we dropped a, a kind of a teaser ad that said, you know, elevate your game coming soon, just kind of a, a vague um, hint, you know, that would have been our G2E 
launch, uh, so to speak. And that's our Genesis Crest cabinet. So it's a completely redesigned cabinet, um, 49 inch display with a 13 inch uh, player interface um, and then a 27 inch topper. So it's a very large um, footprint as far as visual footprint. Uh, I, we believe it's probably one of the largest displays that's not a premium product. It will be for sale. And we have um, 21 titles that will drop between now and June next year. So those um, demos are going on here in our showroom as well as virtually over Zoom. And uh, you know, we've started taking orders with the uh, plan to start placements after the 1st of January. Okay, great. Um, anything else that you would like folks know, to know about Sega Sammy Creation? Well, you know, as a company, um, they're, they're pretty big. I mean, a lot of people here don't even know um, the size, but they are publicly traded, uh, quite large. They have aspirations, as we've talked earlier, to um, penetrate all of the U.S. As many of you may know that there is a Japan integrated resort um, discussions, and we are hoping to participate in that in some form of action. So, um, you know, the company is committed. We're not just, you know, a small company that's showing up out of nowhere and, and may not be around. Um, this is a long-term commitment. It's the chairman of the company has this as a, a dream of his for many, many years. So um, we're really committed. Uh, I have a, a five-year runway to, to accomplish these goals. And, and eventually we hope to have more of the development here in Las Vegas, as well as the manufacturing in Las Vegas. So that'll just transition as the volume increases. So uh, we look forward to being an active and healthy participant in the market for many years to come. Okay, Scott, uh, very informative. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me.